Hello friends, we back for another death battle reaction. Today we're checking out Guts vs. Dimitri. So this just uploaded a few hours ago and we're hyped to see this one. I already saw like the breakdown, so Berserk vs. Fire Emblem. Um, So they're kind of similar that they're both like Avengers, right? In that sense. Uh, Dimitri does have like magic while Guts just has a shit ton of will if i remember correctly so we may have to go dimitri here but it's gonna be close right it's gonna be close i remember guts having some pretty good feats as well but we'll see without further ado let's check out the battle oh 3d 100 men strong what drives your slaughter Save the high and mighty crap till you're dead. Damn that sword! Holy shit! Woo! Dude, the quality just got really good. Like I'm still watching old death battles, and these are like really good. We got the crossbow. We got Tandaga. <laughs> oh! 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 How dare you! I mean, he does have like a healing fact. From your shoulders, the dead must have their revenge! Oh! Dude, that sword is so big! Oh! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Shit! We got bombs! Go to hell! Oh my god, he's a gangster! Dude, that was sick! Bastard! Always hearing the voices. Oh, they're going. I'll kill them. Their final form. Down to the last one. Ooh. Oh shit! Damn, so much blood. Oh. Oh. Enough of this. This is it. oh damn did he get him damn no it's not out What? Still standing? Oh my god, he's knocked out! So we're both shackled to the dead. Oh. You foul beasts will not have his soul! Damn. <laughs> oh my god, he died standing no! up! I don't know what's scarier, Dimitri the demon or Good, still standing there. Shit. Uh, he was a badass till the end. That Being was so fast badass. To dodge lightning, Guts actually had a slight speed advantage over Dimitri. Though mm. skills like seal movement and sword breaker helped Dimitri close the gap. And while Dimitri had some minor healing magic to fall back on, it wasn't going to compete with the raw endurance from the Berserker armor. Still, Dimitri's absurd strength and wider pool of weapons and abilities gave him plenty of ways to wear Guts down. Yep. Against Dimitri's electricity magic, Guts' sword and armor were vulnerable conductors, making every clash an opportunity to electrocute him. Sure, Guts has defeated lightning callers before, but he needed help. Not to mention, moves like atrocity can pierce through armored foes, bypassing half the point of wearing the Berserker yep. armor. Guts could power through some of Eridfar's damage, but he wasn't invincible and could you not can only take so much. Wounds. Then basically. there's both fighters' raw power. 
Slaying demons is really impressive, obviously, but not always on par with uh, magic nukes. Oh, Remember, yeah. in Edelgard's the route, nukes. she defeated Rhea, who survived two javelins of light. In Dimitri's route, he defeated Edelgard while she was a powered up crest monster. That happened. So, if Rhea could take on the javelins of light, Dimitri should be at a similar level. So, let's find out how strong a javelin is. In Fodlin's lore, several javelins decimated a forest, forming the Valley of Torment. However, the Ooh. exact number of javelins used to create the valley was never given, making the power of an individual yeah. javelin unclear. But we do know the javelins in this attack were supposed to hit the Garagmok Monastery. Until the goddess Sothis noped them away and they hit the forest instead. We also know that the javelins of light are not limitless, with typically no more than six being used at once, even against structures similar in size to Garrick Mach. So, if a similar amount were used in the attack that made the valley, each javelin would pack a payload that's over three gigatons of TNT. Damn. Even if we severely lowballed this and said the destruction was divided between. Notably faster armor provided superior endurance, yep. Armor vulnerable to lightning. Significantly stronger. Ooh. Bypass armor, more varied equipment. Yeah, that's probably one of the bigger ones, the more equip uh, more equipment and the uh, abilities. Between 10, 50, or even 100 different javelins of light, surviving two javelins would still be greater than the best of Guts's feats, yep. even scaled to the sea god. Guts' persistence meant he wouldn't go down easy, but against Dimitri's inhuman strength, devastating abilities, and this was a hardcore power, match. it was just a matter of time before the vengeful king wore through him. Saying it makes me berserk, but Guts could only go so far. Yes. Yeah. The winner is Dimitri Alexandra Blathid. Ooh, that was a fire battle. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have a new death battle releasing every two weeks this year. And click the join button to get new perks and extra content. Plan okay, what do we got next? Give us something good. Anyone else, so don't miss out. What? Oh! Manhunter and the Silver Surfer? Damn, that's gonna be good. At first glance, Silver Surfer. But we'll find out if uh, the Manhunter has, you know, some tech there. So yeah, this was a very fun episode. Um, very well choreographed. Animation was spectacular. Um, re I'm, I'm so excited to see like the next episode then uh, if you guys like the content like comment subscribe if you want to support your boy even more links to patreon down in the description i'll see you guys in the next one cheers